Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint and welcome to Resident Evil Reverse. This is the multiplayer game bundled with Resident Evil 8. And today I'm going to tell you about the best character in the game, Chris Redfield. He is by far and beyond the best character that's currently in the beta with the game mode that exists within the beta. So let me tell you why he's so good and introduce you to the idea of digging deep into these characters. Before we talk about Chris here though, I do want to address one major thing is these survivability, weapon power, skill power, these stats that are on the right hand side of the screen. I've had people in my chat be like, oh, that means Claire has the most health because of her survivability. And that means that Ada has less. And yet these all mean nothing. They're garbage. They're, if, if you think back to resistance, and again, this is the same company that made resistance. These are all bogus. They are there just for your interpretation as to what survivability means. They are arbitrary. They mean nothing. Don't worry about them. You have to go ahead and play the characters and learn them yourself. Okay, so let's talk about Chris here. We don't have a whole lot to talk about because there's not a whole lot of build ideas here, but we also have a ton to talk about. So Chris is so strong because of his weapons and his abilities. Well, no duh, but it's how they synergize together, okay? So I would argue that Chris has the strongest weapon set in the game, right along there with Jill because they have the same thing. That CQBR assault rifle that he has makes him insanely powerful, insanely powerful in one-on-one -on -one fights. And then his Samurai Edge is an awesome backup pistol. But then why is Chris so much better at one-on-one -on -one fights than even Jill? And Jill's really, really good too. What makes him so strong is this indomitable spirit skill that he has. And it says for a fixed time, even taking a lethal amount of damage will not kill you. Now this goes to be very important in just about every single scenario you can get yourself in within the game. So a lot of these characters, they all have really, really strong abilities, like especially Jill and especially Hunk that can take you out very quickly. So for Jill's case, she can dodge at you and then swipe you with the hot dog and you're down in one hit. With Hunk, he can go ahead and use his assassinate on you. I mean, Ada, no, you know what? Ada sucks. <laughs> Claire can try to stun you. Leon can try to stun you. All of these characters have a trick that they're really good at doing within the fight. But if you play all of these characters and you understand what to look for and what's coming, Indomitable Spirit counters all of it because you're invincible. Any stun that can happen to you will likely be done stunning you within the duration of Indomitable Spirit. So once you recover, you're still invincible. And then you can just pour into whoever's attacking you with the CQBR assault rifle. Furthermore, let's make it even more nuts why Chris is even more crazy. A big part of this game is all about streaks. So I'm gonna go back to play here, click view rules. This game is all about this right here, revenge. So if you do not continue your streaks in this game, your score is not gonna skyrocket. But Chris is incredible, incredible at making streaks in this game. He is so hard to take down, but he's also incredible at taking things down. Let's talk about that. So Chris is, we've already established that Chris is amazing in one-on-one -on -one fights with other humans. But what happens when you kill a human? It turns into a bioweapon right in front of you, right? So why is Chris good at dealing with that? It's because of his passive. Pride of the original 11, deal more damage to bioweapons the lower your HP gets. So, I want you to imagine, frankly, any bioweapon charging you. What Chris can do when he's in a fight, he can take down the human, reload real quick, and then the bioweapon starts charging him. Now, first off, he can just nail down most of these bioweapons anyway with his absolutely crazy assault rifle, but let's say it's like a nemesis or a super tyrant, or let's say Jack. They're all pretty tough to deal with. What he can do is not only can he kind of gauge when these giant bioweapons are gonna attack and then dodge through them and then take advantage of the fact that they're stuck in their animation. Let's say Chris gets into a position where he can't dodge. If he uses Pride of the Original 11, he can tank a huge hit, go down to danger in his health, then dodge and then pour into whatever just shot him. And then he's doing massive damage with his Pride of the Original 11 passive because that's just what he's got equipped on him. So he's dealing disgusting damage with that assault rifle, comboed up with his low health that he was able to milk through Indomitable Spirit and then supercharge it all the way up with Pride of the Original 11. 
he's nuts and he melts everything and he's impossible to take down not to mention indomitable spirit has a really short cooldown so he can just like keep doing it and you know what he also can punch people he's also he's also got this powered exoskeleton in case you want to use it but frankly you don't need to but what he can do is he can charge at you with his exoskeleton knock you down and then shoot you with his crazy guns and if he messes up well you know what he can just be invincible for a little bit chris is nuts nobody comes close to what he can do i would say the best characters right now are chris jill and claire but chris is very very easily top of the pack because of how he can deal with bioweapons I mean, frankly, how he can win any exchange with anyone, but especially how he can continue pouring into bioweapons. That's what allows him to keep streaking. That's what allows him to rack up these massive amounts of points without being interrupted, okay? So what I want to show you now is I want to show you just a few matches of Chris just going absolutely off so you can understand how easy it is to play Chris, especially in comparison to someone like Ada Wong! <laughs> All right, so without further introduction, here is Chris just being absolutely disgusting. Oh, just kidding. I guess okay, make, that makes me nervous. Oh, no. Jesus. Freaking little dodge lord over here. Holy man. I feel like I just got like tag team done by Leon and Claire. <laughs> Can't believe I'm alive. What is he made of? I will say that when we tried to pick up ammo, it didn't work right away. So maybe, maybe that's going on. We'll see. Let's try it again. Here we go. It's better. A nice move on Chris is to do Indomitable and then let them beat up on you. And then after they get through their animations, it, give, it buys you a little bit of time to just pour into them. They must have been squeaking by on health at the beginning of the match when I wasn't killing them. Oh my lord. Got lucky. Well, let's see how well I can dodge. Chris is nuts. Debatable. Yeah, this David's guy is really hard to kill. I don't know what it is about him. Oh, kill steal. Does Chris Punch just stun the bioweapon? Uh, I can't remember. Really good question now. That looks scary. This whole invincibility thing that Chris has got going on is a little bonkers. I'm the only one that feels that way. Oh god. I'm the only one that feels that way. I don't have any ammo. Nice try, Akimbo. This is the first, like, super Akimbo Leon I've run into. Kind of digging it.
That's how you do Nemi dirty, man. Like I said, Chris is easy mode, man. You just kind of take a snooze when you're playing him. Man, this is the beta, so who knows what things will turn into, but... Nice dodges, bro. Oh, jeez. He wants me. Yeah, but I was trying to like flip to my pistol and it wasn't coming out. I was pressing left on the d-pad So how do you counter Chris? He's absolutely psycho. He's insane. He's untouchable, right? I do think there's a Okay way to counter Chris and it's about understanding him. So if you take a look at his skills, he has indomitable spirit, right? So what you can do is you can watch Chris and He shows when he uses indomitable spirit. He will be like Bruh! And that shows that he is currently invincible so that lasts for a certain period of time and you get a feel for that for playing and after you feel like you've timed chris out then you can go ahead and pour into him and a lot of times what i see with chris players is they'll use indomitable spirit try to pour into you but then they'll use up all their ammo and dodge and in that opportunity they have to reload and kind of recalculate that's when you can pour into chris and take him out that's how i would counter chris take advantage of when he is reloading <laughs> frankly and just time him out, you know, play his skills against him. That's how I'd counter Chris. Another way I think to tell that Chris is low on health is I'm pretty sure he starts glowing red when Pride of the Original 11 is peaking, meaning that he is low on health. So that's Chris. If you want to see more videos on other characters, let me know. I plan on doing a bunch of different videos here for all these different characters. Also, if you guys want like some tips and tricks on how to understand how to use some of the tactics in the game that i've been using i'd love to make a video on that if you guys are interested we've been learning a lot very quickly and it's been a lot of fun i've been enjoying the crap out of this game and we've been streaming it every single night on twitch so i'd love to see you guys over there but with that thank you so much you guys are the best and i'll see you in the next video that we do around here